Hi guys, um, welcome to a beautiful episode in a beautiful place. This is my friend and couturier, <laughs> Gaurav Gupta's stunning shop in Meheroli in Delhi. Gaurav, I'm so glad you made it. Thank you for making it. He's had a rough two months. He's had a slight personal tragedy in the last two months. Thankfully, everybody's okay. But he has been working from the hospital every single day. Like, of course, I don't promote being like a workaholic. You must take care of yourself. But it's just the attitude. It's going through something bad, but still being so on it. And now you're like on the other side of it. And you still look amazing. And you still have such a good, brave, um, you know, front. And that's amazing. I mean, I'm so proud of you, honestly. Thank you. Yeah. It has been one of the toughest times in my life. And uh, the accident put, put me and my mind and my spirit in a very new and different uncharted spot that I've hmm. ever been in. Hmm. I employ 600 people. There is a wow. whole... My teams are amazing. There are yeah. they are such amazing yeah, designers. Yeah. Retail, marketing, uh, you know, our international partners. I am answerable to so many things. I can't just, you know, in between take a break and give up on it. You know, it's something we've worked on for 19 years. Next year, we celebrate 20 years wow, of the brand. Wow, amazing. So, it's just something, especially the last two, three years has had a huge momentum for the brand where we are going global completely. I see that. And so I think in the middle of all of this, I could not just say like, okay, let's not look at work at, at all. I just did the minimal calls, etc. that I had to do from the hospital. And my team, my team, my brother, my, every, yeah. everybody is just so amazing. I've just seen the community of fashion and the come goodness together. in people, goodness and in that's people so nice. you know Sometimes people you think forget otherwise Sometimes people think otherwise that. about yeah. the industry the industry is beautiful yeah that's amazing that's so nice to hear yes. people coming together and but also you've earned goodwill let's just put it that way also in the last yeah, 19 and if, years and if we are good to people people it, will exactly, be exactly you. you've earned that reputation that goodwill that people will pray for you you're right you guys are going global i've actually been keeping a close watch on you guys because it's been pretty incredible the kind of red carpet sightings of Gaurav Gupta, I don't think any other designer in India has that kind of presence on the red carpet globally. We're at Khan, we're at Emmys, uh, Grammys, Oscars. You and know, you're it's not just, just dressing Indian celebrities, you're dressing celebrities from all over the world, from Hollywood. Well, Beyonce wore us seven times. Beyonce has worn you seven times. And like she wore three outfits, she repeated them at the Renaissance store and then she wore us for New York Fashion Week as well. So it's, Kim has just worn us twice. There's been... Kim just wore you to the, uh, to the wedding. The Ambani wedding. The Ambani wedding. wedding. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, and that was Cardi a cool B look. has worn us twice, thrice. I love seeing you on Cardi yeah. B. Yeah, Cardi B looks yeah, amazing. Yeah, Especially really... the blue thing. at yeah. Yeah, I mean, You know, also what's happening with us, what's happening with me and what's happening with the brand, I truly realize it's not something which is happening for the first time to an Indian designer. It's almost like the rest of the world designer. And I've seen the, the dominoes effect, effect of Megan Thee Stallion being the best dressed at Oscars or Cardi yeah. B being yeah. the best dressed at uh, Grammys or Beyonce wearing us back to back at Renaissance Store. Yeah, the fact store. that someone wears you back to back is yeah. a huge compliment. And at Renaissance Store, yeah. which is the most iconic tour exactly. of, of the century. Exactly. And it's, and you know, Kylie Minogue, Sharon Stone, Maluma, it's just the, the, the list is so endless. So, can I tell you what my favorite um, red carpet look of yours has been recently? I liked Mindy Kaling it's at Mindy the Met. Yes. It was that nude outfit because yeah. she has a beautiful dusky color skin. The outfit was a like was a very light beigeish peachy nude. Yeah. I don't know the two shades of brown were like complementing each other. It was that and it was also the sculpture. That the, dress oh. is called the melting flower of time. Oh my god, it was She's having a moment right now. You know, I mean, for she's this. a huge talent. Yeah, I'm yeah. a huge and fan of so, Mindy. I'm I'm a huge fan of Mindy. I mean, as a brown girl, I'm like, exactly. yeah, like she's opening doors when we and were, yeah, even yeah. I was like as a brown girl, I was looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at her and yeah. going like, wow, this yeah. this really funny girl. Who, is, who understands global culture yeah. and is a pr producer, director, comedian, actor, And she's so made many Indians things. and Indian talent very mainstream in Hollywood. Exactly. So I feel so happy about that because we're not just that token brown person in some Hollywood exactly. film, right? We are like the not writers, we are the directors. Park, yeah. Exactly, we are the producers, <laughs> we are the main lead yeah, in exactly. Hollywood projects, which well, is a I've, Netflix project. Well, I just announced it recently that India is having a vibe. 
India yeah. is a vibe right we now. We are always a vibe. Yeah. We are always a vibe, always but globally, vibe. Yeah. right now, it, there is a there is an India vibe, yeah. which is and you're spreading. definitely a part of it. I I'm really, so happy to be a part of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I have to thank my my best friend Hema Bose. She be so was incredible. the one in she's LA. Like, she's based in LA. Yeah, she's and based. She's helping she's put based you all these dresses the on. The, oh, he's based everywhere. Okay, <laughs> she's okay. based everywhere. <laughs> she's like us. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. Based everywhere. Yeah. Sometimes I think these marriages happen. Where people meet and there's an explosion. PR people and stylists, they push a lot of designers that try this, try that, try that. The thing is, with your clothes, and I think in India, we take you for granted. Okay, yeah. we take a lot of our own talent for granted. It's a fact. <laughs> well, I've seen the Indians want the clothes much more now. Right, right. I think the reason why people are reacting to it the way they are and the why they're wearing it and taking it up in the West is because nobody in the US or in Europe or outside is doing what you do. The kind of sculpture, the shapes your dresses take, yet they are wearable. Yeah. Yet they're not like something which belongs in an installation. You're making like wearable art with interesting shapes, which give the body beautiful shapes, which has a lot of drama, your use of color. All these things, I think, set you apart so much from every, forget every designer in India, but all over the world. Thank you. And I think for somebody outside of India, they're probably looking at it and being like, oh my God, this is like a piece of art. Like, they're probably reacting to it the way I did like many years ago when I discovered you. Yeah. Like I said, now we take you for granted. Yeah. Because I was like, Gaurav, what's I up? I think we you discovered know? each other at the same time. Probably. We were both starting out probably, at the similar probably. time. You know, so also I realized like, all these wonderful black women who are singers and rappers, like who who are your clients now? They wear color very well. It's a sophisticated statement. Exactly. Yeah. Basically, there was Couture Week that happened recently. Mm -hmm. You showed as well. A lot yeah. of designers uh, showed as well. What are the differences between Paris and India? Well, they're two different countries. They're two different cities altogether. It's you still can't, showcasing couture it's though. It's still showcasing couture. Uh, the difference is, it's a cultural difference. You know, it's okay. in the sense of India is showing Indian couture. There's a lot more lehengas. Whereas Paris couture shows are, can be very, very experimental, very avant-garde. Having said that, India has started doing that as well with you know, we had a metal breastplate that started our couture show and then yeah. we had some beautiful bridal lehengas as well. Right. You're in I'm the actually, middle of these two worlds. These you two feel. worlds, yeah. completely. And we are celebrating both the worlds. While we are in Paris, we are, I am meeting these brilliant, elevated, you know, it's it's like the models, <laughs> yeah. the stylist, the hairstylist, the kind of talent that I meet there is filtered through the world and has come through that funnel. It's the best in that, of the best. It's the best of the best. comes to couture in exactly. Paris. Exactly. Yeah. And the best production, the best hair and makeup, the best, you know, it's just the teams that come, the talent that comes together. That itself elevates it so much. It's, 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 it, it's a, it's a, it's a high, it's an experience. It's an experience to just work with those teams. Yeah. You know, when the first time when we went, I remember the first time when we were showcasing in Paris, and Navkirat, who is my life partner, she was seeing all our clothes on these supermodels like Kokorosha. And, right. you know, we came back to our apartment and Navkirat is like, you just felt like as if you were just home. You are finally home. Yeah. So, you know, you feel like that sense of fashion is in the air. Yeah. It's literally yeah. like that. So let me tell you from a client point of view, India and Indians, this region, South Asia, let's say. Yeah. We created couture. Okay. Yeah. Let's Let's just go back in history. If you think about detailed embroidery work, which yeah. all the couture houses in Paris still get made from us only. Yeah, yeah. That pain of taking that little patta by patta and making a stunning out like for sure. Varada, for sure. Customizing something to your liking. Somebody mm. coming to your house, doing several fittings before you get the perfect outfit. A couture experience for me as like say a world client or consumer of mm. couture is from the beginning to the end. I need to be able to sit in the seat that was allotted to me, number mm. one. Yeah. Now in India, things like this happen where like you come with your, your seat. That's what I'm saying, there are those things. And you're like, uh, excuse me, there are three people on your, <laughs> not one person, there are three people on your seats. Like my mom has gone to a show, yeah. now she stopped going. It's a little chaotic. And as a couture experience, you want everything to be seamless. For example, when you land in Paris, to your hotel room, comes like a gift I know. and flowers if you are invited to a well, show. we do that as well exactly. in Paris. And then yeah. when you get to the venue, you are escorted, usually by a very handsome man, <laughs> to your seat really gracefully, if not by the designer, his yeah. team or somebody. 
and it's all very seamless, right? Yeah. But I also do agree with you that yeah. couture has in our DNA. Everybody gets made to measure clothes in India. Exactly. Which country can you say have their all? Everybody has a personal tailor. Everybody. It's in our DNA. It's also a problem where we get copied so much. Oh as yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. Since you brought this up, how bad is the copy market for Gaurav Gupta? Well, there was a article in Economic Times recently hmm. which said that Gaurav Gupta is taking on cases in High Court, and we have won about. Like five or seven cases in high court. Wait, you're actually against, putting yeah. cases? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have but in this one. country, a lot of people don't bother on cases because they don't go It's very difficult. We have a very aggressive legal team. We send hundreds of notices. We'll so stop. you really take this copying seriously, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. We have a whole legal department oh, taking care of it. And you actually win some of these cases? We, have won, we are winning cases by the month. Okay, guys, listen. Stop <laughs> copying Gaurav Gupta. Yeah, yeah huh? you will be in jail. Because in India, the copying is not No, but we have every... some of us are taking it very seriously. I know Sabesachi is. I know. He also gets copied a lot. Kumar yeah. is. And Rahul Mishra called me the other day. He's mm. like, why aren't you talking about it more? And now I am. Yeah. Because we are doing it in a very structured way. And IP laws are becoming stricter and stricter. They're getting better, They're right? Getting because they weren't better. so good earlier. Yeah. We were just discussing these beautiful pastel outfits, um, which I guess is your new bridal collection, right? Yes. But I was just discussing with you because a lot of celebrities from like say Anushka Sharma to even a Kiara Advani have been doing pastels. Mm -hmm. Even Parniti last year. Yeah. Pastels is like a huge thing. But now I see that red is really coming back as a bridal trend. The thing is, I am not the the bridal bride day guy. I'm usually the cocktail or the Sangeet cocktail or the reception guy. So that's why they get our sari lehengas or lehenga gowns or sculpted gowns and the guys get tuxedos or long jackets etc. And they're more easy on color when it's not the wedding day, right? Just Very experimental on colors. They yeah. want more and more. Yeah. They, you know, they could go for a malachite or electric blue, which has become very much our color. Because at really night, well. in those lights, yeah. it looks very or good. Even the, yeah. I also feel like the pastels or these kind of colors really, you shine in these colors at night again. Because, yeah. you know, every everything is dark and the bride really shines. In right, this. right, right. So everyone's having their own story. The couple decides this is how we want our wedding. Bride is has always thought for years, I want to be a red bride or I want yeah, to be a pastel right. Maybe bride. Maybe she's had this idea for many years yeah, yeah, before the a, trends even, trends saying. don't even matter then. There yeah. are no, according to me, there are no trends. The trend is beautiful. craftsmanship. Craftsmanship and beautiful. Be craftsmanship, beautiful. And yeah. I think the trend for me in a larger space, which is happening more and more, is individuality, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Everyone is even more couture, even more specific to their needs yeah. and we are able to cater to that. I actually don't know what you, how you started out. I was in NIFT Mumbai for two years and NIFT Delhi after that. When I was at NIFT, I was already winning competitions in Russia and Japan and things wow, like that. Yeah. And then mm. I worked in India for a while and then I went to Central St. Martins in London. Okay, so, so quite extensive education in yeah, fashion. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. And I was the only Indian guy at St. Martins at that time. Oh, yeah. there was Deepa Gurnani in Yeah, text Deepa Gurnani does accessories, right? She was right? in textile yeah, and I was yeah. in women's wear. We were the only two Indian people in, in that building, literally. Yeah. And um, yeah, St. Martin's was amazing. Then what did I, you learn there? Like, what was the top one thing you learned there and you're so grateful for as a designer now? There are no trends. You can't take pictures from magazines. It was more about a, you just have to go deep inside and find yourself. It was so about individuality, maybe was finding so your much, own voice. So much, yeah. and which I already had quite a bit of. Yeah. At St. Martin's, we were not even allowed to, let's say, take a picture of somebody else's art and put it as, as an inspiration. No. If we wanted inspiration, we have to take a picture ourselves or create it ourselves. So that itself You create was, your own inspiration exactly. and then go from there. Exactly. That's amazing. So that's what was beautiful, you know. And, yeah. and just being with these 30 creatures from all over the world who are yeah. all crazy. Yeah. And the craziest thing was that none of us were friends with each other because we were all so competitive. Really? And it was, it's hard. I, so nobody's friends? Nobody. You don't everyone, have a drink later afterwards? We don't have time. We are just working, working, really? working. Stella McCartney's come and giving you a project and you're just scared that two weeks later she's going to come and judge you. It's And you have no classes. There were zero classes at St. Martin's. Just projects? Just projects. So you go find yourself. So it's stressful though. Because there were very, deadlines and yeah, there yeah, was competitive. It's, it's very stressful. Oh my God, I didn't realize it was so competitive that like you didn't extreme. even make friends there. Yeah, yeah it's extremely wow. competitive. Wow. Anybody from your class doing really well around the world? Edward Crutchley is a menswear designer, I think. He shows at London Fashion Week. Gareth Pugh is my classmate. Do you okay. remember Gareth Pugh? Yeah, yeah. Nick Knight does a lot of films with him. Deepa Gurnani yeah. is a classmate of mine. You know, a lot of my classmates would be creative directors in a lot of 
amazing Fashion houses, houses yeah, yeah, yeah and and in really good positions everywhere so in india who do you love i love anamika yeah. also as a person yeah she's as cool, a friend obviously. yeah i call her mama yeah and you know it's i've does said it give, in public does she I've give you idea yeah, not I've because seen. she's old not, <laughs> not because not of because that she's but old. she's not old yeah <laughs> let me just clarify that before before anybody gets upset no yeah. it's because why because she gives you good advice no it's just it's just feeling i have towards it's just something funny between us yeah. so she's just she's uh, i like i you know i just love her as a person <laughs> i love her aesthetic there's a this love in her clothes because like you she her. loves what she does yeah. right and, and like design I, is the very very center of what she does exactly, not anything else exactly yeah. and i like uh, rajesh pratap again yeah. as a person and his aesthetic after your favorite designer in india what do you think of the editorial industry in india globally yeah. it's going through so yeah. much change in india it's it's going i think it's time for the next phase or the but new kids it, to come up but is this next phase already started the next phase is now but i feel like it's still shaping up i'm waiting for it to shape up does the editorial industry like which means like magazines guys um online or offline print do they help you as a designer have they helped you when you I were starting out i think initially out? for sure they helped us a lot yeah. i think media was so powerful i back remember then, back then not like 10 then, years ago 20 yeah 20 years ago 20 yeah you've been around it 20 was, years yeah, yeah i've been around 19 years yeah. i remember when we had our first vogue cover or the first harper's so cover or the first so do you think that helped put you on the map for sure that yeah. helps you know helps put you on the map within the country within the region earlier with that when there was no social media it was That's, media it was only magazines it was only print, right it yeah. was only print but now and even after when social media came in yeah. some of the media social media became important and now i think our own channels are the most important first so you're directly reaching customers yes. now editorially also the, now if a designer is starting out do you think they would need magazines it's a mix okay. it's it's like you are yourself one media house yeah but you you propel into different spaces when multiple media houses support you so okay. then it's a part of your universe today like if uh, you know when we are launching a collection if we have vogue harper's bazaar cosmopolitan L, and different l yeah. etc lefficial all of these titles and global titles wwd cnn id magazine hmm. hotel amode oh, yeah. there's so many yeah. i deserve couture there right. all of these yeah. people i talk. love i deserve couture yeah, exactly. it's an instagram handle and that guy is amazing it's a new media and yeah. and vogue.in and vogue's instagram handle etc is as important as our own media channels yeah. it also kind of you know you kind of cross collaborating yeah. in that sense yeah. and that's where the virality happens in the right spaces it's not about just being viral for just for the sake of being viral yeah you kind of spreading and reaching out the right audience yeah so you think it does help it's thing. not as linear as it used to exactly. be exactly now you have to build like a whole universe yeah, around now, you yeah, yeah yeah now it's much much more circular who is the most stylish woman that you've ever met according to you well, there's so many people i i think you are super stylish no thank you but like just but you know but i'm yeah, not flattering yeah, you but, i would not do that i know i know and <laughs> i know we, I know. we both yeah. are not like that vivian westwood is amazingly oh, stylish love, love and her. jay covens is so cool and stylish and i've met him at prince charles's house um hema shribos my friend is super stylish they they is like you know also when i'm in paris right now i'm meeting like the like babeth who is the founder of numero magazine an older woman who's just so i'm discovering new people or people who in of the industry who i'm meeting now yeah and it's like the kind of stylists and the kind of people that i'm meeting and the kind different of different sensibilities and what different, we usually see exactly. but that's so nice Ex and fresh as a designer what will you never put into your designs i actually don't have a particular pet peeve because for example john galliano did a newspaper print yeah that was for cool. me that is a but that is a logo like, It's a yeah, logo, but it's but like you couldn't, you couldn't tell, tell where yeah, the logo exactly. is. Yeah, exactly. You know that's yeah. what I like, or yeah. like I don't mind the Comte de Garcon logo, for example. Yeah. Or it depends on it depends on if how it's is, done. How it's done. So what's the future of Gaurav Gupta now? The brand is in a very very unique, interesting position in a in a global perspective. Yeah. The next of things are accessories, expanding our couture line more and more. Yeah. Building a couture loyal clientele globally. Uh, accessories of all different kinds. filmmaking doing design spaces filmmaking? houses what yeah. do you mean by filmmaking i don't know these these are things that i want i you know that's yeah. what i'm trying to say for me i am mm -hmm. actually that person who does not go in a, as i don't plan in a linear way i'm not like okay this year i will launch my accessories you I, don't I, plan I, like that i don't Then? i'm i'm a bit like okay 
this is what's it's naturally happening in the design process and now let's make accessories. I'm a bit like that because I don't... But don't you have to plan the distribution? Yeah, all uh, of that comes. Price, like for that, I have my brother and okay, amazing Okay, they worry taste. about yeah, those yeah, things. Yeah. You're like, I will just decide what I feel like designing. <laughs> yeah. I have to keep that madness and romance alive yeah. within myself so yeah. that I'm not... I'm not always pressured that, oh, these are the number of SKUs you have to give. And, they, you know, so you don't I mean, want, you don't take that stress. I do and don't. So I, you know, I yeah. kind of deviate that stress with keeping some new exciting projects behind my head and or, or leaving space for newness Yeah, all the yeah. time. Like right now, we've just started doing metal casted breastplates and metal yeah. casted hands with Nikki Minaj was wearing throughout a tour exactly. and things like that. So that is... For me, that's a new exploration and yeah. something new will come. Right now, we just made earrings out of them for the first time and which are like these mudra earrings and, you know, I'm obsessed with them. So in that regard, do you think it's really important that in every design house, there should be two partners where one just worries about the creating process and one person worries about the business aspect of it? 100%. Like, do you think this works really well with your brother? 100%. Where he does that and you do I this? I don't know any designer in the world who's just done it alone. Yeah, it's not possible, right? Who do you think has done it alone? I don't know. I'm sure if somebody has, I'll think about no. it. But they always have a partner who handles no, all the exactly, business side of things. Exactly. It doesn't make sense to do it alone because exactly, you can't do you it can't. alone. You can't. I yeah. remember when I was, when I just come back to India from London yeah. and I was trying to be like, trying to keep an account or something where I had like four tailors or something and I could not even manage two or four tailors. Yeah. And now we manage like 500 people. I'm like, I could not have done this at all without my brother. Yeah. My brother literally came and saved me. Otherwise, I would have been like, I would have been like a butti kanti making copies of Gaurav Gupta. <laughs> <laughs> has this partnership with your brother, I know he's helped you a lot. Has it change your relationship with him? Is it smart to partner up with like a family member or somebody maybe you're even married to in business? Like, it does is, it? It is extremely yeah. challenging. It's challenging? It's challenging for sure. Yeah. I think we started too young. Yeah. With each other. Yeah. And we took time to kind of adjust to each other. And to find and, the right... And to find like, the right balance. Balance, yeah, yeah, Because yeah. siblings, it is difficult to work yeah. with siblings. It is difficult to work with your partner. It's not and, ruining your relationship yeah, though, right? At the same time, you know, at the same time, those are the relationships... That you can that depend you can on. can challenge and depend, and depend on. on. Yeah. So it is a it is a very... It's tough, but it work, yeah. it's working now finally. That, it's that's it's what it working is. beautifully. Yeah. And, you know, in the sense of we still fight... Yeah. from time to time and uh, well he he could probably want to be the one of the only people in life that I listen to yeah you know it's just uh, otherwise I don't listen to anybody so it's like there's a beautiful I think that tension also brings out uh, action I heard from my friend um, so my friend Vani Gupta runs a charity called The Bigger Picture yeah and it's a, a lovely charity in Delhi they do a lot of things including meals and they have a lot of like empowerment yeah, yeah. programs etc she told me randomly she didn't know I was going to have a chat with you. Yeah. That you sent lots of fabric, like tons and tons of fabric to her. Because she has a center where they train women to empower themselves and yeah. to make products which they can sell, like underprivileged women. And that now you guys are going to send people like tailors and designers to train um, the women yeah. the women of how to like use this fabric to yeah. make like beautiful products, right? Yeah. That's amazing, Gaurav. Thank That's you. But like, absolutely amazing. Because I know a lot of designers can learn from this because you end up with a lot of extra fabric. Exactly. I'm sure. And the thing is, the fabric yeah. is just lying. Exactly. And we yeah. don't want to just dump it. Yeah. You'd rather give put it in good use. Yeah. So it's not just about making this brand. Hmm. It's about uh, standing up for principles and ethics in the industry of, of employment, of you know, of uh, of giving back, hmm. of a culture that Saurabh and I have created over these 19 years where hmm. we do multiple such things. Like today, we all our jacket covers come out of ocean plastic. Right. And today, we, the outfit you're wearing is... Um, is upcycled. It's upcycled, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So in the sense of there is... It's also the culture that we have created. Yeah. Today, when you walk into a Gaurav Gupta store, you don't feel cold. You feel warmth from my people. Yeah. So there is a, you know, there is a culture, there are these cultural pillars that we've created in the brand and we, which is, which is, which we want to expand much more of. So for me, I think what I'm really proud of that. Thank you, Gaurav. Thank you. I want to uh, congratulate you in almost 20 years. Amazing. Almost 20 and years. And good health and good everything. Thank you, my love. And no nazar from 
Any yes. weirdos? Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> this was the iconic Cardi B at the Grammys. Yes. I love. Don't and you? this one almost felt like it was like a hood. It is a hood. This Beyonce book for Renaissance store. So this is sari inspired. It's sari inspired, yeah. You see the sari and you see the pandu and everything. Amazing. And her movie, Renaissance movie, opens with this out. Really? Isn't that crazy? Oh, stunning. And I love this color. I'm in the same color. Me and Beyonce are in the same color. <laughs> <laughs> when we were talking from the corner of my eye, I'm like, why is this outfit looking so familiar? Then I realized that I just saw Kim Kardashian in it yeah. at the Ambani wedding. Yeah. And this is also another Beyonce piece. Wow. So you and recreated all... these, right? Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. pieces for her have been gifted to her, right? They are with her. They're, They're in with the her. Archive. They're in her. Okay, I'm sure she's creating an archive. Yeah. These, this has over 20,000 crystals. Wow, 20,000 crystals, guys. 